Today, it's the place for learning. Yes, a uh, good friend of the show, Cynthia here. We're at the Clark Planetarium. How, how have you been? I'm not too bad, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, you guys are in the business of making sure that you're available because you're a resource for knowledge. And I know that school's back in session and kids are looking for things to help them get a better grade. So uh, tell me about, first of all, what is your impression about the Clark Planetarium? Why do you love it? Oh, that's a great question. I love it for a lot of reasons, but mostly because I get to explore. There's a lot of really fun stuff that we do here. We have a lot of great virtual events going on right now, and it just gets you out and exploring the world around you, even if the world around you is just your home for now. Okay, now this experiment you're about to show everybody at home, where do you take this? Is this something that you guys do here all the time, or is it just like a pop-up sometimes? Yeah, generally when we're open, we get to do some demos where you can come and see some of the cool experiments we're doing on our floor. Okay. Now, we have some pre-recorded ones that you can check out on our website or on our social media, but it's really kind of just ways to get us um, thinking about science. And then if you're in the planetarium... Because science really is fun. It really is yeah. fun. If you, if, you, if you have not given science a shot as far as like how to have fun, you, you are totally missing out. That's why I'm glad Cynthia's here. So is there a name for this experiment? I like to call it the dry ice crystal ball. Okay. And you'll see why it's called that in just a minute. I'm going to pop open my doer here. That's okay. what this fancy thing is called. Safety called. first. I see that. Safety I got you. First. Okay. I'm going to put on... These are special cryo gloves for okay. really cold things. And of course, some goggles. <laughs> Do I look great? Yeah. All very right. fashionable. So in here, I've got. Ooh. She's like a chic uh, scientist. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Fashionable <laughs> scientist. I got to make it fun, like right? It. So I got some dry ice, okay. and I'm going to plop it in my bowl here. And it'll instantly oh, start yeah. bubbling. Isn't that fun? <laughs> you need an evil laugh right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. You got it. <laughs> now, this is really fun, and this is dry ice that you use to make spooky fog at Halloween, okay. even root beer if you want. But we're going to add some bubbles to it. I'm a big fan of bubbles, and they usually trap gas, right? Right. Do you make bubbles a lot, Buddha? Uh, not the kind that everybody likes. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just keep good. it that way. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to make a bubble that I think everyone's going to okay, like. Okay, okay. I'm going to add some what bubble solution to the rim. That's just going to help our bubble stick. See, it's not sorcery, guys. It's science. It's science. Yeah, magic is just um, oh, science. On, this side. What is that? Sorry about the light, guys. Oh, All right. yeah, look, from here, I love that it's clear. You can see the, the reaction of the cold ice in the water. Yeah, and so that's because dry ice is at a negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really cold. That is so cool. And so it instantly turns into a cloud when I put it into water. So this is okay. essentially water vapor plus a little bit of carbon dioxide gas. All right. And so now I'm going to take this strip right here. It's got soap solution on it, and I'm going to pull it across the top. Oh, I've seen here. this. Yeah, I know what you're doing. You're making a seal. Yep. Huh? So now now it's it's gonna trap all that carbon dioxide gas that's that's being released from the uh, dry ice yeah and it's gonna slowly push it out just like us the gas has got to go somewhere the gas has <laughs> to go somewhere that's exactly right and gas gas fills the the container it's in so yeah. if there's any kind of gas it's gonna be the everywhere shape and I, I love that isn't that beautiful it is beautiful it's a fun science project really though and if the an even cooler part is that if I put these gloves on okay okay I can actually touch it well Oh! There goes. Well, now, 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 I think we should also mention there are some chemicals involved in this. So please, if you're going to do this experiment home, make sure there's some adult supervision. Uh, let's give that website. People can go get all the resources and some more of those, maybe some of those recorded experiments. Yeah, ClarkPlanetarium.org. You can go there and it has a bunch of great tabs. You can find virtual events tab. Yeah. They'll have all those things for Well, you. thank you so much. I feel yeah. smarter already. Fox13now.com. Don't forget to click on the place. Bye, guys. Until next time.